This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment, educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm and stuff to get a video I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell y'all every day, the data they release us is false. It's meant to give us a false narrative among us so they could take advantage of us by keeping us, us keeping us keeping us off balance. Listen, they want us to think that the market is not as bad as it really is. They want us to think that they have it under control. They don't. They don't. And what's going on in UK is just another or more evidence that they have no control over what's going on and it's about to get even worse. The the UK Prime Minister, she just got the job and and today she fired a finance minister. According to the story, embattled UK Prime Minister Liz Truss fired Finance Minister Kwasi Kwarteng on Friday amid market turmoil. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but Kwasi Kwarteng, that's how I, I interpret it. Jeremy Hunt has been appointed as Britain's new Chancellor, becoming the fourth Finance Minister in four months. So every month for the last four months, they have been changing Finance Ministers. You know why? Because the economy is in shambles. They have no way to fix it. So in order to try to save themselves or, or for her to, in order to save herself, she is fine firing the finance ministers and blaming them for the market turmoil. But in my opinion, the market turmoil has to do with the SEC in the United States because the SEC refuses to do their job because the SEC refuses to control the bad actors because they refuse to give them fines that makes it unprofitable to commit crimes. That is why the global market is in turmoil because the SEC refuses to do their job. Had the SEC since 2008 been putting pressure on the bad actors, had they been telling them, not even telling them, had they been fining them a lot more than what they were making robbing retail investors, robbing pension funds, they would have stopped doing it. But because the fines are such a small, minuscule amount compared to how much they gain from robbing retail investors, they continue on the same path because it's profitable to them. Had the SEC referred what they've been doing to the DOJ for criminal prosecutions and not against the corporations, but against the individuals, they would have stopped doing the criminal acts. But because there are no consequences to their bad behavior, they continue down that road because there is no consequences to their actions. And back to, 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 to England. Now, Trust also now that she is keeping the corporation tax at its current rate, a reversal of another key part of her, of her economic policy. So she ran on the fact that she was going to rein in the bad actors. She's going to rein in the corporate tax. She's going to do all these great things. And she's reversed everything because their market is in turmoil. They, the, well, the Bank of England, they said that, oh, we came in to protect the pension funds. But they didn't come in to protect the pension funds. They didn't care about the pension funds. They came in to save the market. Had they not come in and did that temporary fix, the whole UK would have would have collapsed by now. It would have collapsed. Anyway, listen. The bottom line is this: UK is in trouble, and. Trust is in trouble, and there's no way for them to get out of this. They can keep doing these temporary fix. They can keep fire, firing finance ministers, but the economy is about to fall. And because they are a major player in the global market, it's going to have ripple effects all over the world. Okay? Our market's in turmoil. Our market's going to crash, too. English market's going to crash. Asia's Asia market's going to crash. Australia market's going to crash. 
the whole European market is going to crash. And you know who's going to win? Well, I believe this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you what to do. But I believe that AMC, 8, GME, investors, who they call the mem stocks, are going to come out on top when the whole market collapses. We're going to see a generational transfer of wealth. And we're going to be in a great position to take advantage of the red in the market. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe on all YouTube algorithms, stuff, and tell me what you think about UK firing their fourth finance minister in the last four months because they have no control over the economic collapse that is guaranteed to happen. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.